Guys, welcome to the Mina channel. Today we have a ton of news. Shin Megami Tensei, uh, Atlas News, probably not Persona, but we're still going to talk about a bunch of stuff here that happened this week. And um, all of them is pretty good. I mean, I can't say that most of the stuff is, is pretty exciting stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So we're still going to talk with uh, Sega, who celebrated their 60th anniversary. And pretty much all the news will be related to Sega some kind of way. Uh, but it's still pretty exciting to talk about this. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I just know, uh, Sega celebrated their anniversary here. And they've been doing a bunch of different stuff. One of the things that they did was uh, to um, do this digital pricing thing that they did with a game called Earth UFO Catcher. You can see a link there if you want to participate on this thing. And you can catch different stuff as far as like uh, information on on uh, many IPs that Sega owns. But the interesting thing is we actually received one for a new game that Atlas has been working on from uh, from some time. That is a uh, game that I previously talked about that is RE Fantasy. Now RE Fantasy, if you don't know, is made by the people that made Persona 5. That's why it's important. So uh, this new project, uh, and he's uh, literally quoting from here, is a brand new RPG in development by Atlas. Greatly differencing from Shin Megami Tensei and Persona series that have a modern world setting. This game it aims to be a true return to fantasy. Now, this is interesting for many, many reasons. Main one is we have not heard about RE Fantasy in years. It's literally been like a year or two since we heard about it and we have not heard a single thing about it. So the fact that we just now are hearing about uh, RE Fantasy again means that we're probably going to hear something pretty soon and they are working on this project. That leads me to believe that I am hoping that we'll also hear something regarding Shin Megami Tensei 5 because they were pro they were actually announced very similarly in time frame i think this was probably announced about 2017 2018 similarly time frame with Shin Megami Tensei 5 we have not heard anything about these two projects this is actually the first time we hear from this project in a long time so very excited for this my guess is we're probably going to hear something about running Shin Megami Tensei soon ish probably by the end of the year or maybe next year that's by soon ish <laughs> it's not very soon but uh, I, I hope that this is meaning that we're probably going to hear something soon. Uh, very exciting for that. The other piece of news here is regarding uh, Sega and their brand new system. Now, we this band has been in rumors for a long time. Uh, Sega has been known for their arcade machines and their old systems like the Dreamcast and so on. But we ha they haven't really been in the market for a long time anymore. They actually haven't done much on that anymore. But news has just arrived that they're actually working on this brand new uh handheld things called the game gear micro so if you are too young the game gear is a uh, handheld that competed back with the uh game boy a long time ago and this thing played games that were pretty popular some of these games are shin mega maintains the last bible as, as as well as other uh, Sonic games and so on. So, uh, what are they doing? They're doing these four different versions of the game uh, Gear Micro that are going to come with games, including Shin Megami Tensei, Last Bible, another SMT, uh, actually, not an SMT, but a Megami Tensei game. So, that's pretty interesting and very exciting. I don't know if this is going to come out on the West. This is, for now, this is a Japanese exclusive as for now, but very exciting. Hopefully, we can hear from this. I'm very interested to see if we can get a hand one of these so we can you know showcase it or maybe play it on the channel or something i'm very excited for this i'm very very interested on, on checking that out uh some people may not be honestly these are retro consoles so they aim for a specific one my hope is that this makes nintendo push forward their micro or the mini system so maybe they can make a, a mini um Game Boy, I would love a mini Game Boy. I, I would really like that a lot. So I'm very excited for that, especially again with the Shin Megami Tensei being part of the of the crew and everything like that. So very, 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 very exciting uh, on that end. Next piece of news is regarding Persona 5 Royal. Obviously, we talk about Royal all the time, but I just want to let you guys know it is actually on sale right now, 25% off at this time because Atlas and Sega are celebrating the uh, 60th anniversary. So go ahead and grab. Persona 5 Rojo 25% discount. It is this is available in the West, meaning in Europe and in North America. So check that out, guys. This is a big part of the day days of play, June 3rd to the, the 17th of June. So check that out. I think you're gonna have a, a pleasant surprise with everything. And uh, it's just very, very exciting. 
uh, to see that as well. So that is pretty much the pieces of news here today. Uh, big, the last piece of news is regarding Sega as well. Their big reveal happened this week, uh, or actually today, and that was regarding the uh, new type of the arcade. Now this doesn't really affect us in the West at all. It actually doesn't. It's not going to make an impact in, in over here, but in Japan is maybe very important. So the deal is they're going to be doing this. Uh, how some things like their uh, Google Stadia or uh, Microsoft and their Xbox Cloud thing is going to be working similar to that. It's going to be an, a cloud that where you can play arcade games. Uh, this is going to be where, whether you're in Sega in one of their many buildings for the arcades or at home where you can actually have by a cabinet you can play uh, on the arcades there in, in the cabinet. So I'm hoping that they're actually going to sell this cabinet so you can get one. I would love to have one of those cabinets. How cool that will be, right? Uh, it will be really exciting, but I'm Again, I'm not sure if this is gonna come out in the West, but I know in Japan, Sega has a really big foothold when it comes to arcade market, so pretty exciting. But again, that's pretty much all the news this week, guys. Very, very excited for a lot of this stuff. Some stuff is pretty interesting, and some stuff again, it doesn't really affect us in any kind of way. But uh, that's it for today, guys. If you're new, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.